gonna get comfy. We're gonna have a little chat. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, then hi, my name's Brogan and I do lots of lifestyle, travel and home content here on my channel. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Today, we're gonna be talking through the Nintendo Switch Lite. And I'm not a gamer. I don't normally do reviews or anything of the sort here on my channel. I do love tech and gadgets and I've reviewed certain things and I love having new things in my life and this is my new baby that I'm obsessed with. So I thought we'd talk about it today, although I'm probably only appealing to a very small niche audience on my channel, but I thought it'd be fun because this is an area I'm interested in, so I thought I'd make a video on it. There we go. <laughs> Before we begin talking about the Switch Lite, I thought I'd talk about why I got it in the first place and give you a little bit of a background and history into the kind of consoles and games I have played in the past. So, I started with a Game Boy Color when I was quite young. I don't know when it came out, but I do remember being really young and my granddad actually found it at a car boot sale. It was bright neon green and the only game I had on it was Pokemon, but I loved it. And quickly after that, we got a PlayStation original where I used to play uh, on the dance mat and I had things like Rayman, I had Tarzan game of all sorts. I remember it really well, like going through the trees. After that, we moved up to a PlayStation 2 and I loved the PlayStation 2. I played a lot of games with my brother on that. Things like Tony Hawk's skateboarding, SSX, which is a skiing and snowboarding game. We used to play James Bond. Um, there were just so many good games. What else did I write down? Need for Speed, like driving games, we did a lot of that. We had the original Xbox. My brother and I completed a game called Halo, which is like a shooting game. Again, skateboarding games, things like that. And then we got a PSP. I think I had the PSP first. So my brother and I had a PSP each. Mine was white, I absolutely loved it. But I did also have a Nintendo DS. I didn't have the 2DS, I had the original like DS. It was quite chunky and I had like a skin on it. Um, so I had both of those. And then the PSP feels very similar to this. It's really weird, like it's throwing me right back because it was kind of similar in terms of like shape and size. But yeah, Nintendo DS, I absolutely loved. I'd love to find all of these. My mum thinks that we have them somewhere, but I loved it. I had things like brain training and obviously Mario. And then we got the Nintendo Wii and I played Wii Sport, Wii Fit and then again Mario Kart with a proper like wheel. I absolutely loved it, smashed the game, completed it, just loved playing online with friends, the whole lot. So that's kind of like my history of games. When I moved in to live with my boyfriend he's got an Xbox and we've played a few games together. We've enjoyed quite a few. My favourite is definitely Overcooked. That was my absolute favourite, even though we definitely shouted things at each other like, pass me the lettuce! But if you've never played Overcooked, you must. It's so good. But we really enjoyed that. We've also played things like Lego City, Lego Star Wars and things like that. I haven't had my own gaming console for a while and I felt like I had a space in my life for one. I travel long haul almost once or twice a year. I travel on the train, four hours round trip to London. London almost every week. I am always on the go, especially on like public transport with my job. I spend a lot of time on my phone. I was reading a lot on a Kindle and I also bought an iPad in 2018 and that definitely helped pass those hours and time but I just said to Benj that I really wanted a Switch and he was like I want a Switch. We originally were going to get the Nintendo Switch as in the original one, have it so you could play through the TV and have obviously the sides come off so you can play it. Every time we went to get it we felt like it was quite pricey and we weren't sure and both of us wanted our own like thing. So then they released the Nintendo Switch Lite last year and we almost bought it at the airport on a trip and we decided we'd save our money and have another think about it and so this has been a good year or two in the making I swear like we've talked about it for a long time. We went on a cruise in January and when we were in Gatwick airport we decided to bite the bullet and get them. So I don't know if buying them in the airport really was like the best option because I definitely could 
could have got like um if i bought it from somewhere like boots i could have probably got boots points or if i bought it online i probably could have got um money off i could have probably used like a cashback site and earned some money that way um i have had a little look it looks like ao.com are the cheapest place right now at 169 pound on the nintendo uk website it's 200 pounds so it's a lot cheaper than the original actually there's a big chunk of money but it's a very different um console in my opinion this you cannot put through the tv it is just like one thing it's lighter it's smaller and it is intended to obviously play like on the go handheld i absolutely love it so we paid 180 pound in the airport for it I bought one game um, to start me off. This is Mario Kart. Originally, this is £40, I think, but we paid 30 And then I bought a really cheap case. And I ended up having to buy a new case on Amazon because they only sold original Nintendo cases in the airport. Something to worth noting if you're going to be buying one. Um, so I had to buy this one on Amazon. Again, this was cheap, like a tenner. So anyway, so here are my current games. I've got Stardew Valley, which... I'm going to talk about them all in a minute actually. Stardew Valley, Monopoly I've just downloaded this morning, Mario Kart, Overcooked, Cluedo, Tetris because it was free and then Uno as well. So my games are very limited right now. You can kind of see the kind of games I like. My wish list is currently consisting of Super Mario Odyssey is right at the top, uh, Luigi's Mansion, and then I have games like Untitled Goose Game, I've been recommended heavily. Two Point Hospital, I think, would be my kind of thing. Rayman, Spyro, a game called Yonder. I also have Harry Potter Lego on here as well. And then, obviously, I have pre-ordered Animal Crossing, which is coming out at the... Well, I think it's middle of March, actually. I've ordered the Animal Crossing case as well because it's so cute. And this one's just too chunky. Like, I don't need it because I realise I'm not gonna have too many actual physical games so the thing with the switch and nintendos is that you can buy these games as in like you put them in the top like so so i have mario kart as an actual game but you can also download them on the nintendo e-store so all of my other ones i have just downloaded mostly because they don't take up a lot of space but i have pre-ordered animal crossing as a physical game only because I just feel like it's something I could therefore sell on if I choose to sell the device with a game. Um, so yeah, there's like pros and cons to having the physical copy versus the digital one. But I just, it feels so weird having like a big case for a game that's like really small. Like it was in that tiny little square there. <laughs> Box was like this just for reference. Um, there wasn't anything else in it apart from obviously the charger. I love how light it is. You'll notice I actually have a rubber case on it. My boyfriend bought me this and I do prefer having it with the rubber case. It's just a little bit more of a grip to it battery is really good i have found about five hours ish i should also note that benji and i bought one each so he has exactly the same and we've been um playing together and also he works away a lot and he was a four hour drive away from me and we ended up connecting them really easily online because we're connected as friends and we played together even though we were nowhere near each other which just is so fun so yeah a bit like how i used to play with my friends on the nintendo wii but yeah we've been doing that i definitely need mario odyssey in my life super mario odyssey i think i'm gonna love that and i'm desperate for animal crossing to come because that's my kind of thing but as you can see there's like so much choice and i've got so many in my wish list i'm gonna see if i can play and show you okay <laughs> look at how nice this is so let's get going single player oh i've unlocked a new car i can't be bothered like sorting all this out right now so let's just do what this is um okay let's just do this circuit solo race okay just to show you what it's like i'm not going to start off the full thing it's very comfortable in my hands i really love it look at it it's so nice and we're going to get the boost at the beginning hopefully Woo! Okay, I just recently learned how to drift, so I've been doing that. And then you can like boost off of these, collect your coins. And oh, this is very difficult to try and play and show you. Um, let's go around here. And then in normal game, obviously, when you're competing against each other, you can collect your shells and your boxes and your bananas. Oh, he's going to grab me. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Um, I'm really just trying to show you how nice it is. The quality is absolutely insane. 
yeah it's just lovely so let's just quick so i don't want that to save if you get the gist i took it to london with me played it on the train it really helped pass the time I just think it's such a lovely, light, easy device to have. I'm not fussed about the fact that I can't play it through the TV. I know a lot of people want the original Switch because of that, so you can take the controller, like, out. Yeah, Benj and I didn't want that feature. For us, this is a lot better. I like playing it handheld, and I just am so in love with it. So overall, first impressions, I think it's good value for money. I think there's an amazing selection of games. I like the way it feels. I like how light it is. The quality is amazing. I'm really excited to have Animal Crossing in my life. That's going to be a big game changer. But overall, I just think it's so nice to have games in my life again because I like having something that isn't scrolling my phone. Although, yes, it's still another screen and you're consuming that rather than taking a break from technology for me it's a break from like the constant scrolling and looking at my feeds all the time it just gives me a break from my phone in that respect so i am loving it i'll let you know how i get on obviously i've got so many games i want to try and download um one thing i do like is in the nintendo uh, shop they have a lot of like current offers so you can see what games are reduced right now so i saw this morning that super mario odyssey was 50 pound down to 33 which is really good so i'm thinking of buying that my brother is actually working abroad right now he's working away but when he comes back home i'm really excited to show him this and see what he thinks because we grew up with games and playing consoles like this so yeah this is the um e-shop right now so you can download and pick different games they have some that are on offer and yeah there's loads in there depending on your kind of vibe so I'm really happy that I own it and that it's mine and I'm so glad that I thought about it and waited for it and like saved for it so yeah if you have any game recommendations for me you can kind of see the things that I like then leave them below and I'd love to continue the conversation and maybe I can do another review or either on my blog or I can just update you and tell you what games I'm liking um in monthly favorites videos and stuff like that so if you enjoyed this please give it a like and I will see you again in my next video thanks for watching bye